and welcome to Beyond the Rock. I am here with Dr. Michael Scheibler, the superintendent of Rockford Schools, and I am Shelby Blackmore, a Rockford High School student. And I just have a couple questions concerning the budget crisis um, and what's going on for next year. So, how serious is Michigan's um, budget crisis right now? It's very serious. In fact, we've had this problem really since 2002 when school districts across Michigan were experiencing executive order cuts in the mid-year, as well as uh, drastic cuts as of last fall, when we were cut $170 per student. Currently, the school aid fund, which is one of your major funds in Michigan, has a surplus of $600 million. But the general fund, which is the other major fund in Michigan, is experiencing a $1.5 billion deficit. And so therefore, we do have a serious problem when it comes to the general fund, but the school aid fund apparently is working okay right now. Prior to Governor Snyder's um, proposed 2011-2012 school aid budget, did Rockford Public Schools have to make any um, budget cuts? Yes, we did. In fact, as I mentioned earlier, we've had to experience executive order cuts for the last nine years including the $170 cut this past fall, which required us to, over the past three years, to cut $9.6 million from our budget. And quite frankly, that's just not acceptable. And we shouldn't, any school district in, the Michigan, in Michigan should have to experience that. It's just not right. What are the key issues regarding the, governor, the governor's school aid proposal that you do not agree with or that you do not like? There's only really one, and that comes down to taking monies from the school aid fund, that $600 million I talked about earlier, to be given to, in total, to community colleges and public universities. That, in fact, has not been done in the past. That is, has not been the intent of proposal A and should not happen. And by taking those dollars from the school aid fund, the 600 million, and giving it to public uh, universities and community colleges, will create a $300 million deficit to K-12, which would require public schools to all over the state to cut $470 per student in funding, uh, which in fact will be devastating to all public schools, including Rockford. You mentioned Proposal A. What does that have to do with school aid funding? Back in 1994, Proposal A was property tax reform and school funding reform. And it was a referendum on the ballot. People overwhelmingly voted for it, knowing that their property taxes would be significantly lowered, as well as their state sales tax would go up two cents to cover the loss in revenue to public schools through the drop in property tax. Those dollars were specifically for K-12. The authors of Proposal A, seven Democrats and seven Republicans, specifically have said recently the intent of Proposal A was K-12 funding reform. And for the governor to take those dollars from the school aid fund and give it to higher ed is just quite frankly not the intent of Proposal A and is wrong. And we have no means of raising that money. Absolutely, Shelby. We have absolutely no means. Public universities and community colleges will raise tuition. They will raise fees that students have to pay. We have no means in public education locally to raise additional revenues for operating purposes. How much will Rockford have to cut its balance for the 2011-2012 um, budget if Governor Snyder does get this passed in state legislature? If the state legislature passes the governor's proposal, we will have to cut in Rockford specifically an additional $8 million over and above the funding, the cuts that we've made in the last three years of $9.6 million. And that, quite frankly, for any public school in the state of Michigan will be just devastating when it comes to educational opportunities for our students. Mm -hmm. And what would that mean with the teaching staff? That would mean significant cuts to both elementary and secondary teachers, as well as other school personnel. And it doesn't have to happen. You know, that's the bottom line. It doesn't have to happen because those dollars dedicated to K-12 and school aid fund should be kept for K-12. Mm -hmm. So what can the community do um, and students, 
like me do to help this whole crisis? I encourage all people who care about public education in the state of Michigan to contact their state representatives mm -hmm. and their state senators to let them know that they disagree with the transfer of funds from K-12 school aid fund to public universities and community colleges and then do it soon because the governor's intent is to have a budget in place by the 1st of June. So we've got several weeks that we need to flood our state representatives and senators with messages saying leave K-12 funding alone, keep it in the school aid fund only for public schools in Michigan. Well, thank you so much for explaining this to everyone, and thank you guys for listening. Thank you. Thank you.